Hi everyone, Craig and Quibus here, and today we've got the Paranormal DNA 250C from Lost Vape to review. So let's dive down and see what this thing is all about. Right, so this is the packaging of the Lost Vape Paranormal DNA 250C, and uh, everything about this mod just screams premium, even the packaging, look at this. Quite decent packaging. Here you can see it's the gunmetal with the red black Kevlar. Uh, when you open it up, this thing is spring-loaded, so make sure you open it on a stable table, otherwise the mod can maybe pop out. There it is, what a beauty. Let's put it to the side for now. In here you will find the normal warranty card, don't worry about that. Then you also get the user manual, and right in the bottom there's this little box of goodies. In this little box, when you open it up, you will find the following items. In there, firstly, is this little suction cup, which is used to take the panels off the mod, and you also get two wood panels. Taking off these panels, really easy. Use the suction cup, press it on there, and you just pull it off. Then you can actually pop in the wood panel, and it snaps into place with a satisfying click. That's what it would look like with a wooden panel, and on the other side, we have got the carbon fiber panel. For now, I'm just going to pop back the carbon fiber panel. Getting the little suction cup off is not that difficult, but if you're like me, then you will struggle with it. Let's pop the wooden panel off and pop the other panel back in. In the box, you also get your charging cable. This one is capable of charging up to 2 amps. And the other thing which is quite interesting is this OTG cable. You can actually use your mod as a power bank and charge your phone or any other device, whatever you want to charge. Getting back to the mod though, a uh, really beautiful mod this. It's got these carbon fiber, carbon fiber panels which we've already taken off. Then this Kevlar panel on the front, this cannot be taken off. In here is another panel that's in here that is not exchangeable. So please do not try to take this off or this, but these panels you can take off. Looking at the top of the device, there you've got a nice big 510. The only issue I have with this is the 510 is a little bit raised, about half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter above the surface of the mod. Um, this can be an issue if you put an atomizer on here and you look at it from the side, you will notice a slight little gap. Slight little gap right there. If this is the kind of thing that bothers you, then uh, maybe this is not the mod for you. But all in all, I can understand why they did this. It raises your atomizer above your mod, so your mod will not get scratched. I quite like it. On the other underside, you have your battery door. It pops open, spring-loaded, Deal hinges in there, nice big plus and minus for your positive and negative on the battery door as well as on the inside, if you can see that. The door also is working on the sliding mechanism and that makes for a nice fit. Let's pop some batteries in here, have a quick look at the menu system. Positive down, positive up on this side and no rattles, nothing. Uh, being a DNA device, it cannot be switched off. It's always on. There you can see uh, we will need to set the date and the time due to the fact that there were no batteries in there. Five clicks wakes the device up. As you can see previously, I was in replay mode. And this is the main feature of this mod, where you will have an atomizer on your mod with something like stainless steel in there. That is a temperature control type of metal and once you go into the settings down here then you can start fiddling let's go into atomizer you can start fiddling in here you can fiddle with the power you can fiddle with your preheat settings and punch as well and once you find something that works then you will go back and you will fire this thing so let's fire this firing and if I feel that that was a satisfying vape, then I can actually save that puff. Now, that was the previous one I saved. Let's fire another one. If I feel that was satisfying, you can see save puff is highlighted. 
I will save it and then every single time I fired it, it will fire it exactly the same. If you go into the settings here and you go into Puff Info, it will actually show you on the screen your curves. It will show you the power curve, it will show you how long you fired it, depending on how you set it up. That's the other thing of this mod, highly customizable. Even more so with the software. I will show you in, a, in, a, in the next little bit what you can actually do with the software. If you're the type of guy that likes gadgets and you like data, this is definitely the mod for you. Not going to go into diagnostics or the rest of the system. I just want to run through the menu quickly to show you there we have replay mode. We will select that. And then there it will give you all your different types of wires. That's stainless steel 430, stainless steel 316, titanium, nickel, and then we get to watt boost, normal wattage mode, there's cancel as well in there, and then we are back to replay. So for all those types of wires, they have preset values in the mod. This makes this mod really easy to use, especially if you want to get into temperature control, but uh, you really don't know what you're doing. This is the mod for you. This is temperature control for dummies. So here we have got the software eScribe for the DNA250C. And currently I'm on the general tab. You can get information about your device online and you can also check out all of the profiles here in different tabs. Currently I'm on profile eight. This is the replay profile and it will show you the settings that you've set up in that specific profile. Other ones in here are for the different kinds of wires, the stainless steel, then you've got titanium in there, nickel 200, you also have watt boost, normal wattage mode, and then canthal mode. All of these settings you can set on your PC and it will be updated to your mod. What is also quite nice is uh, the themes that are in here. Currently, this is the one that the device is being shipped with, but you can design themes or you can load themes. Now, I've got a couple of themes here. I'm going to load this one. And there you can see this is what it will look like on screen. When you go to theme designer, you can tweak this even further. So once we get theme designer open, there you can see that is what it will look like. You can load different images in here and then you can change your color scheme for your text in here as well. You can also do this for each different screen. Here you can see there's the lock screen. I've got the Vikings logo on there and then this is going to be my main screen. You can drag these around wherever you want to put them. You can actually add a new screen as well. Now in this screen, I can add a label in there with a piece of text, whatever I want in there. I can add the battery gauge on there. I can add a toggle in here for something. And all of these you will set up in your options. Not going to go into too much detail, but suffice to say that you can really customize your mod. You can even go into the indicator light setting and change the color for when it's firing, when it's charging, and when charging is complete as well. Uh, let's go back to appearance. I'm just going to close this one because I don't want those extra settings in there. And then I can upload my settings to the device. Now I can show you there, it's busy uploading the settings. It takes a couple of seconds. So just stick around, wait for it to upload. And once it has done that, all of these settings which you have changed in your software will be available on your device. The other thing which I quite like about this is the device monitor. When you click on device monitor, it opens up and it gives you this screen. On the left hand side, you can see here we've got battery. I've selected voltage cell one and cell two, and then the current buff, it will show you the power, the temperature, the current and the voltage. Those are the ones I selected. Now, if I press the fire button, once I've unlocked the device, you will see it registers on screen immediately, giving me real time data of that specific puff. You can also set your power and your temperature in here for your temperature controls. And then once you're ready, you can click on puff, let's say for two seconds, and it will fire the device. Very cool. Uh, for someone who likes to tinker with all kinds of settings and stuff, I highly recommend this. I really enjoy this. Right, so now that we have updated the software, this is what the screen looks like. You can see there's the Vikings logo. Once again, thanks to the guys at Vikings, Walter and Myrna, 
for providing the mod for this review. Five clicks wakes up the screen and there you can see I've got a different background and it looks totally different now. Uh, each of these different screens have been updated to show black text and the highlight is in white. Uh, that's the Lost Vape Paranormal DNA 250C. Let's go back up on top. All right, so that was the Lost Vape Paranormal DNA 250C. Greg, what do you think about this mod? Well, first off, when you hold it in your hand, it's it's made out of really good material. <laughs> that that's the first thing that got me. It it is it is really well made. I love it. I mean, um, talk about this on the side here. Uh, it, it's kind of soft to the touch. Really great if you grip it in your hand just like that. I like that. The button's got a really good feel to it. It's not super clicky. Um, yeah, all in all, it, it's a very good looking mod. I love the fact that you've got side panels that you can take out. You can swap these out. They include the wood side panels in the box. That's great. Um, door locking feature. I like that as well. It's nice and secure. No rattling, no nothing in this. That's a really just a, a premium vape. Screen is good. Fires like a beast. This is a, this is a damn good mod. I've always wondered about the price of DNA mods and especially the price of this one. But I can tell you if you're the kind of vapor that just wants to put an atty on it, fill it up and vape it, not fill with settings and things like that, then this is not the mod for you. If you are a lover of all things technical and you like gadgets and stuff and you like to look at all the settings and tweak everything uh, like me, then this is definitely the mod for you. So um, what I like about this mod, um, brilliant mod, brilliant build quality to it. The only thing that might uh, put some people off is the 510 that's raised just half a millimeter above the body but i can understand why they did that you're never going to scratch the top of your mod um this thing is really beautiful it it just feels like premium quality and it feels like it, it's a classy vape. it's a thing talking about all the technicalities and all the you know in-depth things that you can look at this i mean you were showing me on your on your pc you can monitor you know the amperage the, the wattage, the temperature, everything in real time on your PC while you're busy pulling it. And you can go and then measure your different puffs against each other and see how, accurate, how accurately the replay function is working. And then a quick you know word on the replay function too. If you are intimidated by temperature control, which most people are, you don't even fiddle with it. There are so many regulated mods out there that have got temperature control and then you struggle so much to get it working the way that it should be working. This eliminates nearly all of that. This is basically temperature control for dummies. I agree with you 100%. It's, it's easy. You put in your stainless steel nickel titanium coil, get the wattage that you want, get the puff you know, that, that you're looking for, set it to replay mode, and you just replay, and it will work every time. And it throttles down perfectly. Um, Corbus was explaining to me that last night he ran the, uh, an RDTA like bone dry, and it just throttled the wattage down. He got no dry hits, nothing. That is really, really, really good. So yeah, that's that's our review of the Paranormal DNA 250C from Lost Vapes. So if you want to get yourself one of these, head over to Vikings Vape. We want to say thanks to Volta and Madonna and everybody at Vikings Vape for sponsoring this video. And yeah, we'll bring you guys another video soon.